Hello and welcome back to my channel, I'm Holly. In today's video I want to talk to you about The Ordinary's 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil. Yay, I did it the first time. <laughs> I've tried to film this already and it took me about five times to say that. Anyway, so if you're interested then please keep watching. So, the Rosehip Seed Oil. Now, I really, 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 really wanted to love this product. Like, I really wanted to love it. Um, and I just didn't. Um, and that makes me really sad. And I'm hoping that if I try it again, that maybe I will love it the second time around. But I did try it for a whole week. Um, and after every single use, I seemed to get a new blemish, a new spot, whatever you would like to call it. I seemed to get a new one every single morning after the night of using this rosehip seed oil um, and like I say that makes me really sad because I really wanted to love it. Now I'm going to give you a bit of background on this oil and then I will let you know about my experience, um, the texture, how it feels, everything like that. So to start with um, the rosehip seed oil has um, natural essential fatty acids in it and um, obviously that's really good and that would be really good for your skin. Um, it's got the, uh, I can never remember this word, I'm going to have to check it, I'm really sorry. One minute. Right, so um, it has linoleic acid and pro-vitamin A. And I don't know if I said those right, but I think that I did. Um, and if you... Um, Generate the rosehip oil in the usual way, which is by heat, um, that degrades all of those properties, so it basically just becomes oil and it doesn't have those properties. Because this is organic cold pressed, it keeps all of those um, properties to it, and which obviously makes it so much better for your skin because it has all of those ingredients still in it. It also has a high content of omega fatty acids, which is obviously good, um, but that also um, brings a little bit of something to the smell. Now, I personally feel like this smells a little bit like vegetable oil, um, <laughs> which is really nice when you're putting it on your skin. Um, and I also feel like the texture of it is kind of a little bit like olive oil, and it's kind of got the same colour as olive oil. Um, I will put a little bit on my hand so that you can see. I'm only going to put two drops on because it really, you, if you do like this, it's good in the sense that a little bit goes a really, really, really long way. Um, but if you don't like it, then it's not good because it doesn't really sink in. And um, I don't know, it's just not my thing. Um, I don't love it at all. Um, so as you can see, like, I know I haven't rubbed that in a lot, but it that kind of film, there we go, that kind of film never really leaves. Um, and it just kind of, can you see that? It just has a very oily film to it. Um, and I kind of felt like it was just really clogging my pores right up in places that it wouldn't usually um, get clogged. Um, places that I wouldn't typically get a blemish or a spot, I was getting them. Um, and that's just, it's not really what you want. And I also felt like it had a big impact on um, the blackheads that I get on my nose. Um, it's just... Uh, Overall, it just didn't do what I wanted it to. So it's supposed to be very, very good for anti-aging and for photo-aging, everything like that. Um, and it probably is if you have the kind of skin whereby um, it doesn't react funny with it and you've, you're have you not prone to blemishes, you don't have big pores, you don't have oily skin, all of that beautifulness, um, then you might really, really get on with this product. It just didn't. And that makes me really sad because I really usually love all of the Ordinary products and I just didn't love this one. Which is a shame, but I don't want to tell you that I love something when I don't. Um, if you have skin like mine, then likelihood is that you aren't going to like this either. Um, 
but you never know because everybody's skin is different and maybe the next time that I try it if I do I don't feel like I'm gonna but if I do maybe the next time I try it maybe I'll love it um, because a lot of people do a lot of people think it's super hydrating and that it's got all of these amazing benefits and I just didn't really get any of them um, so yeah, I think that's all that I have to say about that product. Um, obviously it comes in the same usual lovely packaging that all of the ordinary products come in. It's got the very nice um, pet, is that what you call them? <laughs> I never know what to call them, I think I say this on nearly every video about the ordinary products. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about it then please do let me know, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah. So please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!